Makati muna tayo guys para bumisita sa simbahan na ito sa Poblacion area. Yeah. Ito ang Church of St. Peter and St. Paul. Pero noon daw, kilala ito bilang San Piro. Short for San Pedro de Makati. Tapos 1620 nang ito ay na-establish. Pero pretty much yung structure, like yung mga pintuan from centuries ago pa yan. Tapos ni-renovate lang, pero medyo may edad na rin yung retablo na yan. So marin yung include ito sa inyong bisita iglesia. Pwede ka mag-wish. Mag-wish kasi first time na. <laughs> Dahil first time naming lahat sa Sampiro de Makati, kailangang magdasal at mag-wish. Okay, careful, careful. Okay. Itong Church of Saints Peter and Paul ay situated sa isang residential area, commercial area. Kung sakali nagugutom kayo, meron tayong mga maaaring mapuntahan. Two to three minutes away from this church is our first restaurant. Patapos magnilay-nilay. <laughs> Mula sa Piro de Makati, maglakad o sumakay pabalik ng Kalayaan Avenue, dito makikita ang restaurant na ito. Ito ang Kite Kebab Bar, isang Mediterranean restaurant sa barangay Poblacion. Kite actually is a passion project of mine, Mediterranean street food. I call it a kebab bar because we also serve a wide selection of different liquor, spirits, wines, and beer. But at the same time, we're a restaurant. Handa na ang mga pagkain, sana ang mga tiyan nyo, handa na rin! Guys, welcome to Kite Kebab Bar. It's a different concept, no? Because kebab and bar. So I'd like to meet their owner, si Ian. This is a falafel salad. It's healthy. It comes with feta chicken grapes, our special dressing. Try it with olive oil. Salad muna tayo. Falafel tayo. 135 pesos lang mga falafel salad nila. Falafel. Sobrang nagiging hit din. Kasi yung lasa niya, may mix meatballs din eh. But sans na meat eh. Ang sarap. Usually, when they make it major longish, she, de ba? Elongated she na ganon na ano? But but you can make it however you want it in different shapes. Yeah, go ahead, sandwich for me. Yeah. Ang crispy ng falafel, harap. Ayon dressing with a little bit of citrusy, a little bit of the freshness of the tomatoes. Sharp din naman grapes para mas fresh yung lasa niya. Kung sa naman ang sardine and feta cheese. May savory and then may citrusy na konte and then may konting spiciness. Yung hindi ka mao uma yun, yung perfect lang talaga lahat. May roasted garlic tin siya, kaya very strong in lasa niya. And cheese. Hmm. Then kaya yung bread, yung homemade bread. Appetizer pa lang yun. Appetizer pa lang. Hmm. I'd like you to try some of their best sellers pagdating sa mains. Oh, this is another house special. Vegetarian samosa with a uh, house-made salsa, and then the chicken, uh, Mediterranean chicken barbecue. We serve with arson, which is uh, those who love spicy. Food. <laughs> this is the uh, house special garlic sauce. This is Japanese wagyu kebabs. Ooh. Wow, that's I also one wait. of our best sellers. Kima, beef kima. Wow. This is ground beef sautéed with onion, tomato, olive oil, and herbs. Lahat ng pumasok na food sobrang flavorful ng amoy nyo. Mm. Okay. Sa ang ganda ng presentation. Ano gusto niyo na? Eh? Kaya bahala. Ang gusto ko yung samosa. Oh yeah, samosa. Ano po ang samosa? It can be para sa mukha siya empanada sa Middle Eastern na mga regions, mayroon talagang samosa. It is actually eaten any time of the day. May lentils yan. Okay. Oh, Meatless, and usually. And yun, yun. Pero mayroon din version na may meat eh. Sabi nga kanina, di ba, parang ito ay vegetarian samosa. So healthy. Pero nakakabusog pa rin siya. Sobrang stuck siya. Yung kima nila, it has that really good, you know, konting heat. Medyo nag-change of flavor, naging, you know, salty and meaty. Hindi siya maganda yung serving size kasi yun nga, pwede daw snack. Or pwede nga can mix it with rice or yung pita. So perfect with rice. Hindi masyadong oily na parang ano lang, balance sa balance lang. Ganda rin yung ginawa niya here. Nauuso kasi yan ngayon eh. Yung Wagyu Cubes. Ginirel niya with tomatoes and onions. Parang nilagyan niya konting spice. Nutry niyo with the sauce. Sarap yung sauce. So, tatry ko itong maanghang. Oo, pero sige, konti muna. Arson day pangalan eh. 
you. Oh, Iba si Arson, <laughs> ben. Parang challenge eh. As in, authentic sile talaga yung parang kumain ako ng sile. <laughs> Masarap yung garlic sauce. Very distinct. Masarap yung garlic sauce talaga for the win. Wagyu, wagi. Waging wagi. Itodo na natin ang kainan with batch two of their best sellers. Yes. Wow. Wow. Party time. Now we're talking about <laughs> biryani. Beef biryani is actually yeah. a dish that uh, has different version. interpretations depending on the region. Parang adobo. May lamb version kami nito at chicken. Pero I chose the beef for you guys. Biryani is usually mixed with rice. This is the shrimp gambas with olive oil, garlic, and herbs. Lenten special salmon grilled with dill and lemon butter. Nice. The stuffed squid wow. with our own uh, mix, and then we serve it with sinama. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Sobrang lambot ng squid. Oo, oh, sakto-sakto yung pagkaluto. Sobrang sarap. Sariwa. Gusto ko yung portion niya, laki. Yung size ng squid, malaki. Perfect yeah. for sharing. Magustuhan din kaya namin ang salmon? Kahit yung salmon, serve okay. din. Saka yung na nakokompromiso yung integrity nung, nung lasa. Hindi overpowering. Yeah. And also, itong gambas. Sarap. <laughs> sarap. It's very soft. Yung pinaka-sauce, di ko maintindihan, pero ang sarap eh. Actually, parang ang precise nung chef na nagluluto. Lalo na pag seafood, kasi parang very mild lang lasa ng seafood. So, kailangan very subtle din yung pagluto. Matapos kilatisin ang mga seafood, pasado rin kaya ang beef biryani. Tapos ka nang huyain yun, tsaka lunokin. Gusto ko pa next na ulit agad. Siksik sa lasa. Flavorful. And meaty. Dami eh. I mean like, for four of us, parang kalahati pala yung na-consume natin. Yes, Arian. Mm. Sarap! Yun lang sabi. Mm. Sarap! <laughs> Paulit-ulit. Si JB is also premiering uh, their new show sa GMA News TV. It's called... Yeah, the Big One. It's a travel show. Business side na rin, papakita na rin natin yung business side ng... At ang ganda ng Pilipinas. When is it airing? April. Abangan na lang natin. How about you, bro? Your restaurant? I have NAV. It's a Thai restaurant. Yeah, I like it. We also have Tipple and Slow. It's located naman sa Fort. Kung nasa Makati sa mahal na araw, bisita na sa Saints Peter and Paul Church o San Piro de Makati na matatagpuan sa 5539 DM Rivera Street, Poblacion, Makati. So, mga kapuso, sana po pagkatapos yung magsimba, bumisita po kayo dito dahil malapit lang po kami sa St. Peter and Paul Church. Sa may Ebro Street kami, malapit sa Clipper Hotel. So, we're across Kalayaan lang po. Diretso na po kayo dito sa Kite Kebab Bar.